there's probably people that would say, just because you're doing it sight size, why don't you take a picture? But Here's the thing, when you paint sight size and you do exactly what's in front of you, just what you see, not what you know, just what you see, you'll get that third dimension in there and it's wonderful. I had this epiphany one day when I was in class and I discovered lost edges. And it just really, it was like, well, it was an epiphany. And I knew I could get really good at this and I would be able to do this and I would be able to uh, make beautiful paintings. And what I was getting at is when you, when you try to get that third dimension on the two-dimensional canvas, you're going to do it by finding your lost edges. And as soon as you find a lost edge, you lose that edge, it's, it just gives you the third dimension. It's really wonderful. I have never, throughout my whole life, stuck with anything, really accomplished anything, and, and this was something I couldn't let go of. I had to do this. It was like beyond my control. Um, there's a beautiful lost edge right on the, on the shadow here, and I, I'll see if I can do just a little bit of that. Sometimes I would stand at that canvas and I would be working and I would cry. I would be so frustrated because it wasn't happening. Take a look and look for that lost edge. And I have to use a mall stick because I do have shaky hands. There's some people out there that are going to understand that. And it blends right into the shadow. And what's going to happen is the edge of that picture is pretty dark. And you're going to find that eventually it will just curve right around. But I'd come back the next day and I'd do it again. And I would do it again. And, and I finally got so that I could do it pretty well. And now I can set up almost anything. And I can do, I can end up with a painting that looks really good. Soap. And you can see already that's just starting to just curve under just a little bit. I had a real problem drawing. I don't draw well. It's, it's something I just have not a natural at. I have to work very, very hard at it, probably harder than most people. So I went back and I took a drawing class and I did a, I ended up after the drawing class, I ended up doing a self-portrait. So I take the mirror and I look at the reverse image of it. And if there's something wrong, if it's at the wrong angle or, or there's just something that's not right, it's going to pop out immediately. I did this, this self-portrait and I did it using a mirror so that I could see myself as other people did. So I had a mirror here and a mirror behind me and I had my, 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 my paper here. I was all boxed in in this little tiny area. And I probably worked 100 hours on this drawing. I put everything I, I could into it. I won a national award with it, a couple regional awards with it. And I want to put some nice light behind here because that's another thing that will help when you're trying to get that third dimension in there. You get your lights next to your darks where you do have an edge and that's really nice. And then when you go into a dark next to a dark you lose your edge and, and that's really nice. And together you will end up with what you're looking for. This year I'm going to be part, actually it's the third year I'll be a part of the Fall Foliage Artist Studio Tour and it's wonderful. We had a lot of people last year. Everybody loved it. Um, we have three artists here at our studios and we'll have three artists again this coming year. Uh, we'll have Richard, myself, and a woodworker which is going to be really wonderful. He turns beautiful bowls, Bob England. I don't like to draw, I just like to paint. I like to, you know, I probably should have been abstract in it. I could have been happy instead of frustrated.